Hello welcome to Objective Question Answer MCQ's YouTube channel. With a positive vibes let's start this video. Question number 1. Metals that react with both acids and bases are called. Option A Amphoteric. Option B Amphoteric. Option C Amphibian. Option D Amphetamine. The right answer is option A. Amphoteric. Metals that reacts with both acids and bases are called amphoteric. Question number 2. Which of the following is an example of nonmetals with luster? Option A coal. Option B graphite. Option C phosphorus. Option D iron. The right answer is option B. Graphite. Among the following, graphite is an example of nonmetals with luster. Question number 3. Metalloids are also known as Option A pure metals Option B impure metals Option C semi-metals Option D alloys The right answer is option C Semi-metals Metalloids are also known as semi-metals Question number 4. Which of the following metals is the most reactive metal? Option A copper. Option B calcium. Option C zinc. Option D sodium. The right answer is option D. Sodium. Among the following metals, Sodium is the most reactive metal. Question number 5. Metals are solid except. Option A iodine. Option B sodium. Option C mercury. Option D gallium. The right answer is option C. Mercury. Metals are solid except mercury. Question number 6. Which of the following metals is the least reactive metal? Option A zinc. Option B copper. Option C gold. Option D iron. The right answer is option C gold among the following metals gold is the least reactive metal question number seven metal oxides are option a basic oxides option b neutral oxides option c acidic oxides option d meteoroids the right answer is option A. Basic oxides. Metal oxides are basic oxides. Question number 8. Which of the following is true for all metals? Option A. They are hard. Option B. They have high melting and boiling points. Option C. They have 1 to 3 valence electrons. Option D. They are malleable and ductile. The right answer is option C. They have 1 to 3 valence electrons. Among the following, sentence which says they have 1 to 3 valence electrons, is true for all metals. 
Question number 9. Bases turn. Option A red litmus blue. Option B red litmus green. Option C blue litmus red. Option D green litmus red. The right answer is option A. Red litmus blue. Bases turn red litmus blue. Question number 10. Gold normally occurs in nature. Option A. In free state. Option B. As carbonate ore. Option C. As sulfate ore. Option D. As sulfide ore. The right answer is option A. In free state. Gold normally occurs in nature in free state. Question number 11. Iron, plus, oxygen, plus, blank, iron oxide. Option A acid. Option B alkali. Option C water. Option D salt. The right answer is option C. Water. Iron, plus, oxygen, plus, water. Question number 12. Which of these is the most reactive metal? Option A magnesium. Option B gold. Option C platinum. Option D sodium. The right answer is option D. Sodium. Among these, sodium is the most reactive metal. Question number 13. The metal which can form a barrier layer of oxide on its surface is Option A carbon Option B barium Option C sodium Option D aluminium The right answer is option D Aluminium the metal which can form a barrier layer of oxide on its surface is aluminium. Question number 14. Which of these metals cannot displace hydrogen from a dilute acid? Option A iron. Option B zinc. Option C silver. Option D calcium. The right answer is option C. Silver. Among these metals, silver cannot displace hydrogen from a dilute acid. Question number 15. Metal are hard but, dash, can be cut with a knife. Option A mercury. Option B magnesium. Option C potassium. Option D iron. The right answer is option C. Potassium. Metal are hard but potassium can be cut with a knife. Thank you so much for watching our videos. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel Objective Question Answer MCQs. And always remember, never stops learning, because life never stops teaching.